boys and girls. Welcome to the Crafty Corner. My name is Miss Lisa and I've got another craft for you today. Today we are making tissue paper flowers and all you really need uh, for this craft is what we have in the packet for you. So when you come to the library you're going to get a little packet that's going to have some green Chanel sticks in it and the tissue paper. So there's a lot of different color tissue paper so there's a lot of different choices for you. I've already made myself an orange one and we've got this yellow one here. So let me show you how to do a tissue paper flower. So you're going to have some tissue paper and um, and you fold it. Most of them I think are already the packets have them they're folded in half but they're quite too tall. Your flower should not be four inches tall. If you'll notice this flower it's not as tall. So what I would suggest you do is that you first of all trim off some of the paper that you have that you've been given so that the flower looks a little better. Then what we're going to want to do is make a fan. So we want to go frontwards and backwards and frontwards and backwards. So and the smaller you make it, um, the more the fuller your flower is going to be. So we're going to press this down then we're going to flip it over and we're trying to try to make it all the same the same size you can give it a crease press that down we'll flip it over we're going to crease it all the way down and you might need some help with this just to try to get your flower all nice and flat there and pressed and you're going to fold it again and it looks like I might have just enough to go one more time and the last one might not be quite as even as the rest but that's going to be okay so I'm going to take all of that and then, oh my goodness, we're going to fold it in half. And you know what? I guess it could have been wider. This is the part where you want it trimmed down because look at how tall that flower is going to be. Okay, so once you have folded into a fan, now you can cut it. So I folded it into a fan. I'm going to cut that top part off because we do not need it to be that long. So we're going to take your... Chanel stick and it's already been folded in half so we're going to take it and right there at that halfway point I'm going to fold the paper back up again you're going to take that Chanel stick and pinch it together as much as you can the tighter you can get this base the fuller your flower is going to be so I've pinched it really good and then I'm going to start to twist it and I'm going to twist it so that it's going to hold it in place. And then once you've twisted the, 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 you know, the low, the very middle right there, really tight. The rest of it doesn't have to be super tight because if you make it a little bit longer between twists, then it sort of looks more like the stem of a flower. So we're going to go ahead and twist the rest of those all the way down to the bottom so that they're not coming apart. I'll twist that together at the bottom there. Now that you've pulled this really tight together, here's sort of the trickier part. You're going to want to then unfurl, unlayer. Oopsie, and then that one wasn't cut all the way through. So I'm going to take my scissors and cut that little bit. So we're going to pull this down. If you run into any of those places where the seam has been, just, just give it a little snip. So then we're going to Pull this layer down and come over here to this part and pull this layer, pull these layers apart. Oh, and again, that wasn't cut. So maybe before you start folding it, make sure all of, you just have a bunch of layers. So then we're gonna layer this and pull that apart and pull this apart. Once they're all sort of pulled apart, then you can sort of scrunch it back together and sort of design it the way you want. So sort of fluff it all together until you get it so that it sort of looks like a little flower, like a carnation with all the little pretty parts. Okay. Then with your other Chanel stick, you're going to take this and make like a loop. So about halfway in and you're going to loop this around so that you make a, actually let's go halfway loop this around on here so that you have your your leaf you're going to over let me see if i can show you this you're going to overlap it a little bit and then 
tuck that in and wrap it around the stem part. With this other part, you're going to again make a make a loop. I'm going to try to try to shape it like a leaf. <laughs> and try to shape that like a leaf, and then take that extra part there and loop it around the stem. Okay, and then you can Chanel sticks are wonderful for being able to mold into the shape you want. So then you can shape your leaves, and now I have myself a bouquet of orange, red, yellow flowers. Isn't that cute? All right, so this is how you make a tissue paper flower. Come into the library, pick up your packet. Um, if you have extra tissue paper at home, make a whole bunch. You could even make one that was a rainbow flower. That would be really cool. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Miss Lisa for the Fayette County Public Library, and you've been watching The Crafty Corner. Bye.